Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell and welcome to the next video which is looking at the operations system. Now we know that operations is about producing goods and services and in order for a product to be produced it needs to go through what we call the operations system. And the operations system is simply the transformation of inputs into a final output. And the final output is either a good or a service. There are three elements in the operations system and we'll go through each one individually. And the three elements are we start off with the inputs, the processes are all the, you know, the activities involved to turn the inputs into the the final product which is what we call an output and that's as simple as it is but we need to understand those three elements so to start off with the inputs they're the resources used in the process of production and they can include uh, materials so if we think back to uh, an earlier video where we were talking about making hamburgers some of the materials involved are the buns the lettuce the tomato and um, the meat used or the burger so there's some of the materials that we would use. Then there's facilities and equipment. So, you know, the facility that we're in, and you know, if we might have seats and tables available, we might have a cash register. Um, and also we obviously got a grill in order to cook our burgers, even the knives and the chopping boards and all those type of things. That's all part of our facilities and equipment that are going to enable us to produce a final product. Then there's the employees involved. That could be, you know, the cash register or the people on the grills out the back. Uh, money is a really important resource so that we can actually buy our materials and all those type of things. Time is also crucial because it's something we can't get more of and we need to make really efficient use of time. We don't want someone ordering a burger and getting it an hour and a half later. We want our processes, we want to make the best use and efficient use of time as possible. And then any information, that could be recipes, it could be um, any information on our particular customers, you know, anything like that. So all those are resources that we use that are going to help us actually produce our product. Now processes is the next stage in the operation system and they are all the activities that help convert or transform the inputs into the final outputs. And you may see in some textbooks that may talk about these as transformations or transformation processes. Either word is fine, either term is fine, but it's the same thing. So what it is is we're transform using processes to transform inputs into a final output. And organizations aim to use their resources really efficiently and often it's the processes that enable that, that to happen. And that's often why they'll implement um, machinery or equipment or technology into their operation system that can help make a really efficient use of their, their resources. And so processes can help determine areas such as quality, the speed of the delivery, and that's often, again, why technology is implemented into the operation system. The amount of wastage, because sometimes um, you might have some really good processes that reduces the amount of wastage, or if your processes are poor, it could be wastage everywhere, which is obviously, the, in the end, costing you money and making it more expensive to produce your product. And again, processes are really involved, have a really... Um, uh, profound impact on the safety of the organization. Outputs are the final good or service that is produced and the quality of the outputs is normally a reflection of the inputs and the processes that are used. Um, so if our, you know, if our end goal or our objective is to produce a high quality output, there's not much we can do about it in the output section. It's a result of all the other factors that have gone before it. And so that's why it's really important to get our inputs right and our processes right. And remember that outputs for manufacturing organizations are very different to service organizations. And that was spoken about in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, um, make sure you do that. So that's the main uh, that's the, the main areas of the operation system. We've got the inputs, the processes, and the outputs. So just to recap, the inputs are the resources used to create the output. We have materials, facility and equipment, time, employees, money, and information. There are six main resources that we need to use in operations. Then our processes are all the activities used to convert those inputs into the final output. And outputs are the final good or service that is sold to consumers. And that is simply our operations system. So for questions, activities and more, then always come on over to teachingbubble.com.